I'm Jack Buckley. I'm the Commissioner of the National Center uh, for Education Statistics in the U.S. Department of Education. Certainly one of the biggest challenges is just around the changing environment uh, of, of state assessments and, and assessment in general. So one of the, my largest area of operations is actually NAEP, the nation's report card for the National Assessment of Educational Progress. Uh, we're spending a lot of time thinking about the future of NAEP. How do we rebuild it to be relevant in a world where we may have common core state standards assessments in uh, mathematics and English language arts that are common across uh, the, the majority of states? You know, what should NAEP's role be there? There are questions about how should these next generation assessments uh, be administered and delivered? Are they, will they be fully adaptive? Will they be partially adaptive? Must they be on computers? Um, there are questions around integrity. Testing integrity is a huge issue right now in the news uh, in, in our states and in our cities where there are accusations of uh, impropriety on state testing. The, the department is committed to providing technical assistance and resources around how to prevent and detect uh, cheating on, on state tests. But we also have to look ahead as we shift to these new tests and if they're computer administered, cheating doesn't go away, it just takes on a different form. And so we're very engaged in trying to sort out some of those issues. One of the, the unique problems, though, that we have in the United States is that all the states got to design their own assessments, and so they're not comparable really across state lines. People try and say, well, you can look at these percentages proficient, but the proficiency bars are all different, the assessments are all different. Uh, the way we solve that problem is not a federal uh, solution at all. It's through these common core state standards uh, and the common core state standards assessments. So at least, again, in mathematics and, and, and English language arts, we are uh, we and the federal government are, are helping through, through funding, through providing assistance. We're helping the states uh, and consortia of states develop both these standards but also develop new assessments that will uh, enable for once actual assessments to be comparable uh, among different states. I think that's a, a major uh, step to getting towards something that's fair where you can actually compare the schools and, and teachers uh, across state lines. There are other questions. Some of what you uh, raised, for example, the question about what kind of model do I use to estimate the teacher contribution? Do we want to standardize that? Do we want to let states, this will not be our decision, but, but that's a big question for the field uh, because it's going to have great implications for the teacher labor market, for how teachers are rewarded or, or punished, frankly. Uh, and it has implications in terms of do those data, are they good enough to drive the kinds of decisions people want to make? Are the models sound enough and robust enough to drive these decisions? Do we really need to not forget to look at other measures? I, I, I worry as, as a, a quantitative person, as a data guy, people get, I, I worry when other people start to get too excited about some of these quantitative empirical solutions or the data don't necessarily support the decision making. And maybe we need to make sure to point out when we need to be inside the schools, when we need to be collecting qualitative data, when at least we need to be collecting other survey or, or interview uh, through evaluation by, by you know, supervisors or principals. Do we need to be looking at f more robust portfolios of student achievement? These are all questions that are, I guarantee you, there are dozens of panels on this at AERA because it's such an important issue. And at NCS, we're always uh, you know, very pleased to be uh, participating in that and trying to provide the data that we need to resolve some of these questions.